Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a video on how to properly clean your guinea pig's cage. So today we have, we're doing this outside because I have very bad lighting, but as I angle the tripod down, you can see we got Miss Melody's cage out on the step here. And I'm gonna know if I gotta move you guys in or okay, that's better. That's so freaking hard to do. So, anyways, when I clean Melody's cage, I take everything out her litter box. As you can see, with all the poo in her litter box that Melody does all her business in her litter box. People are like, you can litter train a guinea pig? Yes, you can um, litter train a guinea pig. This is about a week. I have not cleaned this in about a week. And that's all that's on the base of the floor. Let me, uh, let me see if I can zoom you guys in. See, there's not much poo in her cage at all. Usually during a usually during a week. Oh God, am I in frame? Okay. Usually in a week, if you were not litter training, this would be full. Like you would have to clean this every two days if you're not litter training. So let's take out her bowl, her little teddy bear. So I take it, I fold it all up into the towel and I'll shake that out later. And then all that's left is <laughs> one, two, three little stray poops. And then after I um, take all the stuff out and I take all the poop out, I'll take a solution of vinegar and water and a paper towel and I will wipe down the cage and I just get right in the cage with her And I knew I was going to forget something, and I forgot the liners. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So after you wipe down the cage with vinegar and water, you put down some old towels. This is way cheaper. I went to a thrift store and bought old towels just for this purpose. <laughs> and you just put it in the bottom of the cage. <laughs> My baby, go on down there. Okay, what's going on? And then I take a second towel and I put it on top of that towel. 
and the purpose of these towels is to absorb the urine if she has an accident outside the litter box. It's also way better on their feet. If they, you use like wood chips and stuff under their feet, they're gonna get this condition called bumblefoot. And you do not want your guinea pig to have bumblefoot. It is very, very painful to them. So I have always used fleece liners. And this is a, a fleece blanket. Well, not really a blanket. It's like you buy it by the meter at uh, Fabricville. So I bought one meter of it. And instead of like sewing the towels to the fleece, because I did that in the beginning and I found it was very difficult to clean it. So I find cleaning them all separately instead of sewed together is way, way better. You still got hay all over the blanket. Oops. <laughs> My guinea pig is a very skittish girl. So I'm gonna give her her house back so she stop freaking out. Here, baby. Here's your house. Over here. There you go. And. I've already filled her water bottle this morning, so I do not need to do that. I just gotta grab her food and her wood chips. I'll be right back. I almost fell. Okay, so for the next part, you take her hay log out of the litter box because I'll do a separate video on how to litter train, but it's very, very easy. And then I just take the poo out and then I go dump it in my green bin. And then for the spots that I can't get out, I usually take an old stick and I scratch it. But to make this video not as long, I'm just gonna fill it up. So about three of these little um, Tupperware containers of wood chips and then I go like this to even them out and then I put the hay log back in stick it in there push down the hay that's already in there and then you take a bundle of hay and I kind of like squeeze it so it can fit in the hole I know I kind of put too much, but you can never put too much hay for a guinea pig. And then I take her little ball and I fill it most of the way with pellets. They're only supposed to have one eighth of a cup of pellets a day, but she's only one I have, so. I spoil her pretty good. 
and then I just hang it on the side of the cage like that and she can go eat it. I'm just going to take the phone off the tripod and show you the clean cage. I wish I could flip the camera while I'm recording. So there's it. All this is from trying to put that hay in the box. It's not dirty. Because I put down a, you guys seen me, I put down a fresh liner. But that's how you clean a guinea pig cage. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button. Until next time, bye!